We're just in time for the pumpkin picking patch at Mitchell Farms near Collins in Covington County. And Nelda and Dennis Mitchell sort of backed into what you'd call agritourism several years ago. And we're going to talk to Ms. Nelda a little later on in the show and let her tell us all about the farm and all about how they got into this kind of business. But first, we're going to stop at another kind of farm, the forest. Yeah, here's more. Oh, a lot more. Working in forestry, you know, I'm required to be in the woods every day. And uh, I enjoy eating from the landscape, um, foraging basically. It's something I got into when I was big into organic gardening and started realizing there was an organic garden all around me that I didn't have to tend to. All I had to do was harvest. And what I'm looking for today are black trumpet mushrooms, golden chanterelles are in season right now. And those are the mushrooms I like to focus on most um, because you can't find them in a store. And if you do find them in a market or on a menu, you know that they, they had to come from the wild, that somebody spent the time walking through a forest with the knowledge and skill set that it takes to gather them. When I started getting into mushrooms, there was dangers, you know. Most people look at all mushrooms as being poisonous, and that's probably the safe route, is to just avoid them all until you get a little bit of knowledge behind you. I spent years studying them before I actually started consuming them. So, you know, taking your time and being safe, and the old saying, when in doubt, throw it out, you know, don't take any risk when it comes to especially mushrooms. There are some very deadly mushrooms and toxic mushrooms that can hurt you. but. Um, there's a lot of really choice edible mushrooms that are easy to identify with just a little bit of help and a little bit of study and a little bit of time spent with them in their habitat. It's hickory. Hickory nuts. This whole bank right here, there's a persimmon, there's muscadine, there's blackberry, there's uh, a pawpaw, which is what we're fixing to get. So you don't want to try to harvest the fruit from the tree that's still firm. When they're ripe, they'll fall on their own. So when I find a grove of pawpaw trees, I'm looking for the ones that have just hit the ground. And a lot of fruits are like that in Mississippi. I mean, they're not ripe until they they hit the ground. Passion fruit, a lot of people in Mississippi call them maypops. Um, it has a beautiful purple flower. Those are another fruit that they're only ripe when they fall off the vine. we're trying to do is gather enough wild mushrooms to make a pizza with some friends of mine in Laurel. And um, we try to get together whenever we can and I bring them the foods and they wow me with their culinary skills and, and the, the two worlds come together nicely and taste, it's real tasty. <laughs> we got the, uh, the chicken of the woods. And we've got some... Oh, that's insane. Black trumpet mushrooms. I didn't expect to find those today. But, uh, and then I've got a bunch of golden chanterelles also. Look at those. That's what, uh, that's what we had we made before. Right? It's unbelievable what really grows here in Mississippi that folks don't know about. And through Joseph, there it is. Well, that's the interesting thing about this guy who brings something to the table and then cook it and eat it and that's what we're going to do tonight. This is your your the far side of foraging. Well, you uh, 
You did all the hard work over here. And Joseph drags in one day with a sack full of chanterelles. I love perfect mushrooms, and they were perfect. We cleaned them, and we got to be friends, and we cooked a pizza that night, I think. You know, foraging and sharing that knowledge with your friends and family, it, it, it's, it's another way to, to, to bring community and family together. Instead of buying that organically grown mushroom over the one that's not, you can go to the forest and gather your own, and you have an even more superior product than what was being offered there, and it's absolutely free, and you've gained knowledge in the process and experience and time in nature. You know. Thanks for joining us. If you like what you see, subscribe to Mississippi Public Broadcasting. Till next time, I'll be seeing you on Mississippi Roads. Down Mississippi.